He did die for us. He died for our sins so that we could have a home in heaven. Lord, I pray that you help us, Lord, if we're not saved, to accept that sacrifice that the hero Jesus has made for us. Just like we accept the sacrifice of our men and women who fought and died for us in the war. Lord, we thank you for our military. We thank you for our veterans. We see them. Those that are in charge of it. Those that run it. Lord, we thank you for those that support it. Lord, I pray that you continue to bless here as well. I pray that you continue to bless the rest of the uh, events to follow. I pray that you help our military and their families to feel loved and appreciated for all their sacrifice. All these things we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Pastor King. Now, at this time, ladies and gentlemen, would you please stand for the posting of the poem by the Old Tongue County Bureau Detail and remain standing for the playing of the National Anthem of the 313th Tony Band.
thing to recognize a very important gentleman in the audience this morning. We have with us this morning a World War II tail gunner of the B-17, Mr. Jack Hunter. Jack, you stand here. 96 years old. And also, I'd like to introduce a special friend for the museum. He has worked tirelessly for the last 20 years, and he is one of the, the greatest friends this museum has, have, has had. And we just enjoy his support and his, uh, the, the, what he does in Montgomery for us. And that is State Senator Tom. Um, I don't think we are very proud to be the most funding for our museum. And we have our Lansdowne County delegation. Uh, we thank you so much. And for those who don't know, uh, a couple of three weeks ago, they brought us a check from the state of Alabama for one million dollars. So, again, thank all of you. And I guess you know, the, uh, our guest speaker today is uh, Major General Royer from Restaurant uh, Arsenal. And also with him is Command Sergeant Major Bradford Smith of the Army Aviation Missile Command. So thank you, too, gentlemen, for taking your time out of a special busy day for being with us today. And now we will have the introduction of the Veterans Organization's Commanders and Auxiliary Presidents. Camden Kent, American Legion for 49. Brian Hamilton, BFW, both 4765. Teresa Donahue, Quartermaster, BFW. Lyle Sadler, DAV, Chapter 51. Jim Watson, President, BDA, Chapter 511. Ellen Thompson, Commander, Amvest Force 21. Jeffrey Fisher, First Vice President, Amvest Force 21. Gunny Sergeant Logan, Lanton Marines. And Lee Hatterbaugh, son of the Confederate Veterans, Captain Thomas H. Hobbs, Camp 768. And our auxiliary units, Linda Watson, DAD, Chapter 51. Devon Dempsey, EDA, Chapter 511. Pat McDay, Lansdowne County Marines. Let's give them all a round of applause. Okay, this time we'll have the uh, laying of the wreaths, and I will call the order. American Legion, Post 49. D.A.D. Chapter 51.
Vidya chapter 5 11 County Marines. Sons of the Confederate Veterans, Captain Thomas A. Todd, M768. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen.
We recognize that their families have also given it all, and that memory lasts a lifetime. Those families that are still here today, they deserve our support in the future and today and always. We are humbled by their service. Before they provided that ultimate sacrifice, each one of them stood up, they raised their right hand, and they swore to the Constitution to support and defend it against all enemies, foreign and domestic, and to bear true deep faith and allegiance to the same. It is their service that we are humbled by. It is their service that makes us better. And because of which we as a nation are grateful. We are grateful for the freedoms that we enjoy today. The freedoms that we have in a nation are like none other. And you can take a look about what's going around the world today and we recognize that how fortunate that we are and how fortunate that we are because of the men and women that we honor today. And it is because of that that we are inspired I personally am inspired to be the best that I can possibly be because of what they do and their sacrifices and their service to the nation. We honor them through our actions. So it begs the question, what actions or how best should we honor them? What actions should we take? Certainly events like today in a formal setting where we recognize their sacrifice are absolutely befitting of them. And we need to make sure that those continue. But that is a single day of the year, and they deserve more. We honor them, and can honor them, with our own service. Service to others to make sure that we are doing the right things, to help other people, and that we live the ideals for which they stood. We also honor them by making sure that we uphold the ideals of the Constitution that they swore to. That every day we try to make our union a little more perfect, just as our founding fathers have described. And most importantly, we can honor them by remembering them not only today and on other special occasions, but every day. Most of us here today have lost someone maybe a family member, a close friend, and that's why that we are in attendance. But I would ask you to consider talking to your friends, your colleagues, your peers, and if they are not aware of somebody that gave the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice, get them to know one name. Learn their story about uh, what they gave and what they sacrificed. Learn a single individual. As I said up front, they were all individuals. They all had their own story. And it's up to us, collectively as a nation, to make sure that we remember them, not only today, but every day. I submit to you that it is our moral obligation to do so. We are ethically bound make sure that we remember them and their sacrifices because of what we enjoy today. May they all rest in peace.
Alan David Ashley, John Delbert Avery, David Morgan Bailey, Ted Baskar Barnett, Gerald Douglas Ballou, Larry Bruce Bennett, CW4 Robert Leroy Bennett, Major Thomas Michael Bethea, Brandon Jamal Phillips, Larry Blankenship, James Arthur Bull, Raymond Jerry Brown, Joseph Benjamin Bryant, Dr. Edward Free Bullington Texarkis, Larry Glenn Burrow, Donald Massey Callison, Norris Delano Christopher, Ural Edward Claxton, David Philip Clem, Alfred Andrew Coleman, Ronald Eugene Collette Jr. Raymond Franklin Corbin. James Aubrey Coston. Garland Roosevelt Crabtree. Ronald Ezekiel Craig. James Benjamin Crowley. Staff Sergeant Rome Howard Crowley. William Donald Turnett, Jr. Thomas Benjamin Dabney. Master Sergeant David Allen Daughtry. James Timothy Dean. Victor Richard DeLorino. William Donald Finley. Airman First Class Horace Holland Freeman. Gerald Gerald Gamble, Staff Sergeant Newton Garvin, Ronnie Gilbert, Manson L. Gilliam, Merle Ray Gowan, Kenneth Paul Graham, Airman First Class Tommy Eugene Green, Weaver David, Herbie Greenhaw, John Lawson Haker, Jackie Walker Hall, Walter Elijah Harris, William Marion Bill Hicks, Harold Owen Hill Jr., James David Hill, Charles David Holland. Here. Lieutenant Colonel Ralph Linton Hooks, Jr. Douglas Eugene Horton. Rex Lamont Hubbard. Daniel Todd Hughes. Joseph Slater Ivy. Master Sergeant Kenneth Arlen Jankowick. James David Jones, Malin Taswell Jones, Sergeant First Class William Timothy Jones, Roy Lynn Keller, Colonel Edward Kozak, Staff Sergeant T. J. Luter, Lieutenant Colonel Felix Lee Liveoak. William Kyle Looney, Jr. Private Lester C. Malone. Howard A. Martin. John Ellis McCartney, Jr. Jimmy Joe McDonald. Raymond Thomas McElney. 
Richard Gilbert McLeay. James William McGuire. Here. David William Mitchell. Here. CW3, Karen Jean Bohan. Emmanuel L. Murrah. Fred Murrah Jr. Thomas Thunder Nelson. Here. Luke Avery Noblet. John William Parker. James Buford Phillips. James Lawson Preston. Robert Stewart Brown. Richard Ollie Monroe Reed Sr. Franklin D. Billy Renegar. Howard Keith Roberts. Gary Boats Dwayne Rogers. William Melvin Rose. Alfonso Ruffin. Barbara Jane Salmon. Reverend Thomas Sanderford Jr. Travis Leon Scripture. George Ezer Dyke Shannon. Colonel Patrick Shahan, Master, Ch Master Chief Petty Officer Paul McKinley Skipworth, Clint L. Smith, William Malcolm Smith, Marshall Dell Spence, James Buford Spry Sr., Cecil Lowell Stacy. Thomas William Wilbur Stair. Charles William Stanett Sr. Here. Chief Petty Officer Michael Bailey Summerlin. Charles Olin Sutton. Here. Houston Brown Taylor. Here. Lieutenant Colonel Ned R. Taylor. Robert Micah Templeton. James Richard Terry, Jerry Terry, Billy Wyatt Turner Sr., Sergeant First Class Eugene Turner, Clyde Reeder Vessel, Terry Randall Vibert, Julius Wayne Vickers Sr., First Lieutenant Joy Ellis Warren. Lieutenant Colonel James Jim Harold Walters. Eugene Alice Wedgman. Sergeant Frankie Dwayne Whaley. Dr. Morris Wayne White, Sr., Captain, U.S. Army. Paul Franklin Witt. Specialist for Gaither, Gaither Edmund Williams, Gerald Edward Wisdom, Audie Mac Wise, Robert Gregory Wolf, Paul Anthony Woods, Lincoln Corner Woodward. Thank you. This time, ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the 21 gun salute and remain standing for the main
Thank you, Mr. Steve. Again, General, thank you for being here today. Thank you, Thank you as well. And I would like to thank Chairman Alan Daly and the Limestone County Commission for giving us this building. Let's give them a hand. It's not good Thank you. 